John here. You might have noticed when working with OpenSCAD that when you draw a shape that has curves or a circle on it, it's made up of these big old clunky facets like this. The smaller the shapes are, the more prominent this becomes. You can sort of see that there. If you don't like that, you can change the way that the facets are calculated. In other words, you can just draw a lot more to more accurately represent or approximate a circle. Now, what do we got here? Remember, if you put a bang, uh, an exclamation point, in front of a statement, that one and only one statement will be executed, and the others will be ignored. And that's true in preview mode. So this is the preview button right here. So what I'm really doing is I'm only right now executing this one statement here, which draws a cylinder, diameter 10, height of 5, and move it over in the x-axis 20 units. Okay, there you have it. So how do you play around with the facets? Well, you say Fn, the number of facets, make it bigger if you want more, equals 60. There you have it. Now you've got a nice, a closer approximation to a circle. And that's all fine and dandy, except for one problem. If you set every single shape you create by hand, it'll take you forever to get all these things set. So you have this other option. Let's turn this debugging off, re-preview, and look at all these shapes I have on here. I have a cylinder here, a cylinder here, this is this guy right there, a sphere of 10 and a sphere of 5 over here. Instead of putting the FN on this one line, I can put it up here globally and set it for everybody. So this is called a global variable preview that. Now they all have a bunch more facets on them and that looks pretty nice. That's all fine and dandy but as things go uh, you'll find out this is not without certain problems. For example this sphere here you can see these facets on it. They're relatively big and they're smaller here. These two have the same number of facets on them. It's just a bigger sphere will have to have bigger facets. On the one hand, you know, maybe that's not all that bad. On the other hand, you'll find out it is kind of bad because the total number of facets in this diagram dictates how long it takes to compile and render this picture. This is not a particularly complex shape right now. It's just got four objects in it. And when you draw something more realistic and useful, you can 3D print something, it might have many, many, many objects and many, many, many facets, some thousands if not a million facets in it. Then you start noticing it takes literally multiple minutes to just render the image, which drives me anyway nuts. I'm a very impatient person. So this is okay for simple situations. If you set it and you, it looks nice and it renders before you die of old age, that's all fine and dandy. Quite often, that is not the case. So OpenSCAD gives you a little bit uh, other options to do this. Let's look at these other variables. So you got FN stands for the number of facets. Facets shall be 60 is what it means if you specify this variable. Or you can go another route and say there's two variables here. The angle and the size of the facets. The way these are used is it, it, uh, it allows OpenSCAD to try and, and choose which one of these best suits the current situation. And it, it is calculated by saying take 360 degrees divided by FA, which in this case is 5, which gives you 60. So this is the same thing if we only consider this as saying Fn equals 60. It'll say, look, I want to draw shapes, and in this case, with no more than 60 facets in the circular dimension here. All right? Where a sphere is concerned, that would be 60 around this axis going this way, and 60 around this way here. Okay? Any circle that OpenSCAD creates all the way around this circle it would be limited to 60 facets. If you cut this in half, then it would draw 30 over here. So this is applied to the full circle that would be created if a full object is created. You'll see later on that I can cut this in half. So keep in mind that the 60 refers to what would be there if you drew the whole thing. The size setting here, FS, says this is all fine and dandy, 
put 60 on there but if the shape is small don't bother drawing any that are smaller than a dimension of one now what will happen is if you draw something small such that 60 facets would create a whole bunch of like facets that are 0.001 units in in length long don't bother move them all up make them all larger so that they're all one unit in size so I just hit preview again after changing the mode from 60 uh, FN 60 to FA and FS equal 5 and 1 respectively and now you can look and see these two spheres you can sort of see that the facets here are about the same size as the facets on this sphere down here so now it's using the size of the facet to decide how many there should be rather than the size of the object okay but that is true when the objects are small when the objects big let's make this cylinder really big and go to 200 what will happen now is zoom out just to see it we are limited now and bound by the 60 value here if this is a hundred right here that means the uh, that this marker distance here is 10 uh, units in length if this is 10 units this here is about 10 units so now the size of this facet is almost 10 so what we're doing here is saying look when it's really big don't put more than 60 on there when it's really tiny don't make them less than one so let's make this really tiny now and see what happens as it shrinks way down this is only two units wide in diameter clearly we have one two three four five six was that seven one two three four five six seven yeah seven gone whatever that turns out to be that's the size uh, shape of this cylinder here and of course if you try to 3d print it something that's two millimeters wide or one millimeter for certain that's <laughs> 30 millimeters high now it's a pentagon um, the, the, the printer head would just snap this thing off so this is impractically small to print anyway however you can definitely see the effect of these two variables uh, uh, taking place on large versus small so that's what these settings are used for generally speaking when I do is a, when I create a new project and do a design I put these variables in my program if I want for some reason one specific shape to have a specific number of facets I'll definitely use FN and I use FN equals 6 quite often when I create um, objects that have to match the size of a hexa hexagonal nut so you'll see uh, later on when we use differences you can create a shape and subtract another shape from it and I need to create a hole that's hexagonal in shape to hold uh, a nut for example so you'll see me use this in some of my designs uh, when I s explicitly state FN equals 6 on one single cylinder now in doing that here you can clearly see that the effect of this FN equals 6 is limited to only this one cylinder because the other ones as you can clearly see are still being governed by these global variables up here so this on this particular object overrides the global variables up here put this back to something reasonable oh that's may not be reasonable <laughs> that's pretty big all right and there you have it so this is how you control the quality and size uh, of your of the facets that make up your images so that you can uh, have practical rendering times